In a world that often celebrates selflessness, we're about to explore a counterintuitive idea, the power of putting yourself first. Now, before you recoil at the thought, let's clarify. We're not talking about disregarding others entirely, but rather about prioritizing your own well-being in a way that can lead to a more balanced and fulfilling life. Many of us have been there, constantly putting others first, saying yes to every request and burning the candle at both ends. It's a path that often leads to one destination, burnout. Our narrator knows this all too well. For years, they were the quintessential people pleaser, always available, always willing to lend a hand, always putting others' needs before their own. It felt noble, even virtuous, but beneath the surface, a storm was brewing, exhaustion set in, resentment grew, and eventually, they hit a wall. It was time for a change, time to embrace a different approach, one that put their own needs first. This journey of self-discovery led to a profound realization. Being selfish, in the right way, isn't just okay. It's necessary for personal growth and well-being. Let's explore why. Prioritize yourself. When we constantly put others first, it's easy to lose sight of our own priorities. We become so focused on meeting everyone else's needs that we forget to tend to our own. This imbalance often leads to a sense of disconnection, not only from our own goals and aspirations, but also from our personal well-being. In this relentless pursuit of fulfilling others' expectations, our own dreams and desires can get buried deep, causing dissatisfaction and unfulfillment in our lives. By continuously sidelining what we truly need, we hinder our ability to lead a life aligned with our true purpose. The first step in reclaiming your life is recognizing what truly matters to you. What are your goals? What brings you joy? What do you need to feel fulfilled? These aren't selfish questions. Rather, they're essential ones that form the foundation of a holistic and satisfying life. Identifying these aspects of your life clears the path towards genuine happiness and contentment. By understanding your own needs and desires, you create a solid framework for a more balanced and intentional life. This introspection allows you to navigate life's challenges with clarity and focus, ensuring that your actions align with your inner values. Of course, when you start prioritizing yourself, you may face pushback. Friends, family or colleagues who are used to your constant availability might be surprised or even upset when you start setting boundaries. It's important to remember that their reaction is not your responsibility, your well-being is. This shift might be uncomfortable for them initially, but it is crucial for your growth and self-care. You are taking necessary steps to preserve your energy and resources for the things that genuinely matter to you. Embracing this change is an act of self-respect and personal empowerment. Setting boundaries isn't about building walls, it's about creating healthy limits that encourage personal growth and allow you to thrive. It might feel uncomfortable at first, but with practice, it becomes easier. As you become more accustomed to honoring your boundaries, you'll find that your relationships improve, your stress decreases, and your satisfaction with life grows. These benefits are substantial and transformative, leading to enhanced emotional well-being and a sense of sovereignty over your life. Recognizing and enforcing these boundaries is a courageous act that fuels your journey towards self-discovery and sustainable happiness. The rewards, they're immeasurable, initiating a ripple effect of positive change throughout all facets of your existence. Avoid burnout. Burnout is the silent epidemic of our time, a stealthy invader in our lives. It creeps up on us, 
often cleverly disguised as dedication or hard work. These traits, typically seen as virtues, can slowly lead us down a precarious path. But make no mistake, burnout is the direct result of not setting boundaries and consistently overextending ourselves. We often fail to realize the critical impact of this imbalance until it's too late. Your energy and well-being are precious resources. They are the core of what allows you to flourish, both personally and professionally. These resources need to be actively protected and nurtured to sustain you over the long haul. When you're constantly giving without sufficient replenishment, you're inevitably headed for a crash. Our narrator learned this the hard way, and their experience serves as a cautionary tale for us all. There was a time when they found themselves saying yes to every project, every favor, every late-night request that came their way. It was as if they wore their ability to juggle multiple commitments, like a badge of honor. There is a certain sense of pride and accomplishment in being the go-to person, the reliable one who never says no. However, this relentless cycle took its toll until one day they hit a wall. The physical, emotional, and mental energy that once fueled their drive came to a grinding halt. It wasn't just a moment of pause, it was a full stop. The cost of overcommitting had finally come due, and indeed, it was steep, painfully impacting every facet of their life. Learning to say no and to set judicious limits on your time and energy isn't just about avoiding burnout. It's about creating a sustainable life that makes room for what truly matters. When you're intentional about preserving your energy, you ensure that when you choose to give of yourself, you're doing so from a place of abundance, not depletion. This space allows you to regenerate, enabling you to engage with passion and resilience rather than exhaustion and resentment. It's about valuing yourself enough to acknowledge that preserving your well-being leads to a more profound impact in every area of your life. Respect your time. In our hyper-connected world, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that everyone deserves unlimited access to our time. This assumption can often lead to burnout and decreased personal satisfaction. However, here's a hard truth that many overlook. They don't. Your time is undeniably your most valuable resource, and unlike other resources, it's finite with no possibility of renewal. Therefore, being selective about how you spend it isn't just okay. It's absolutely crucial for maintaining both your mental and physical well-being. When you start respecting your own time, something fascinating happens. Your relationships often improve significantly. Although it might seem counterintuitive, being more selective with your time ensures that the moments you do spend with others are imbued with quality and depth. You're not just present, but truly present, more engaged and more authentic in your interactions. This shift in how you approach your relationships enhances the connections you share because you're deliberately choosing when and how to invest your time. Consistency is a critical factor when it comes to enforcing your boundaries. It's not enough to set them once. The real challenge lies in maintaining them. This doesn't imply being rigid or inflexible, but underscores the importance of being clear about your limits and adhering to them more often than not. By consistently respecting your established boundaries, you safeguard your time, ensuring that it is used in ways that are meaningful to you. When you respect your own time, you effectively create space for the things that truly matter to you. Whether that's pursuing a long-held passion, spending enriching time with loved ones, or simply taking necessary moments for self-care, you are investing in your own well-being and personal growth. 
Each commitment you make to protect your time is also a commitment to prioritize your life's meaningful aspects. This conscious allocation not only enriches your life but also serves as a model for those around you, illustrating the benefits of valuing one's own time. Your happiness matters. Here's a liberating truth. You are not responsible for other people's happiness. Let that sink in for a moment. So often, we twist ourselves into knots trying to ensure everyone around us is happy. But happiness is an inside job. It's something each individual needs to cultivate for themselves. We often fall into the trap of thinking that by making others happy, we are fulfilling some great purpose or call. However, the reality is much different. Each person must find and nurture their own joy and contentment. Focusing on your own happiness isn't selfish, it's necessary. Think of it this way. When you prioritize your own well-being and joy, you become a better friend, partner, colleague and community member. Your energy and positivity can even inspire those around you to find happiness within themselves. You can't pour from an empty cup, after all, so it's essential to keep your own spirits replenished. There was a time when they were everyone's go-to person for venting, problem-solving and emotional labor. They found themselves in situations where their own needs were overlooked in favor of being the pillar for others. While it felt good to be needed, it was also exhausting, and often one-sided. The toll it took on them became apparent only after years of giving more than they were receiving. It eventually led to a critical realization about the importance of setting boundaries. I care about you, but I don't have the capacity to discuss this right now. Or, I'm happy to listen for a few minutes, but then I need to get back to my own tasks. These phrases became a new mantra, a way of maintaining personal space and energy. It wasn't easy at first, but over time it led to more balanced relationships and a greater sense of personal well-being. As difficult as it was to start these conversations, over time the result was restorative and rewarding. It allowed them to reclaim time and energy that was previously spent in unending cycles of giving. These changes cultivated a life that not only supported others, but also focused inward on personal growth and happiness. When you focus on your own happiness journey, you empower those around you to do the same. You model healthy boundaries and self-care. You show that it's possible to be kind and caring while also prioritizing your own needs. Remember, putting yourself first isn't about becoming selfish in the negative sense. It's about recognizing your own worth, respecting your own needs, and creating a life that aligns with your values and priorities. It's about filling your own cup first, so you have more to give to others and to the world. In the end, by being selfish in this way, you become more capable of genuine generosity. You create a life of balance, fulfillment, and authentic connections. And isn't that what we're all striving for? So go ahead, put yourself first, set those boundaries, prioritize your well-being. It's not just okay, it's essential for your personal growth and happiness. And in doing so, you might just inspire others to do the same.